Hey y'all, happy Mask Monday. Uh, today we're gonna be working on my newest mask. Um, he doesn't quite have a name yet, but I know that he wants to be a slimy boy, so we're gonna add some of that with the hot glue. This mask, it's, it, like I said, it's my newest one. It's a zombie mask. I'm probably gonna call him Death and Decay, and that's because he's heavily inspired by two Distortions Unlimited zombie masks. They were called Death and Decay. I was kind of looking at both of those for inspiration when I was sculpting him and, and designing the paint job and all that in my head. Death especially has like some nasty slime in his mouth, and I kind of wanted to add that here as kind of an homage to that. Distortions Unlimited in general, a lot of times Ed will do, you know, snot and slime and, and uh, spit and drool and all that stuff, and uh, he uses the hot glue gun. I've only done it once before, and I won't lie, it didn't turn out as good as I wanted to. This is supposed to be my retribution. Probably shouldn't be doing it on camera, but I thought it would be a cool time to uh, kind of show you all this trick, and um, hopefully I don't ruin my mask. You should probably get like the really super clear stuff for this. Uh, these sticks are not the super duper clear ones. This stick is almost out, so I'm gonna have to kind of feed this at the same time. I just want some drool kind of dripping from the top of his mouth down into the bottom. And now here's where I really messed up when I did it the last time. I wasn't thinking logically, and I put the drool kind of right here. It was like on top of these top teeth. And it didn't look right, because it doesn't make any sense. You wouldn't like drool from here. You would drool, you know, from like the inside, like the roof of your mouth. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna put like a, like a bunch of uh, glue up in these spots right here and just let gravity pull it down. And hopefully it looks cool and natural, but we'll see. I'm liking like like this, like the drip. Like I do think it's cool. Obviously it's really messy right now. My hope is that once it hardens up, I can go in there and kind of cut it and trim it and get rid of all this stuff. Um, Ed, my friend, tell me what I'm doing wrong. I am not good at this. I, again, I think once I'm able to get hopefully this stuff cut off, it won't look too bad. And I do think actually like the white kind of cloudiness of this does work like for Bit. Like if I just only look at that one section, it does kind of look like he's opening his mouth. He's got all this gross spit in there. So I'm happy with that, um, but I'm not happy with all of this crap. So someone tell me how to avoid these stringy things. Like I can't get it to detach without like cutting it. Clearly I'm doing something wrong. Someone let me know what that is. But again, I'm happy with it in general. So let's let that dry so I don't kind of pull it and mess anything up like I normally would. I'd panic and try to fix it and make it worse. I'm gonna let that dry and then see what we can do to, to clean it up. All right, so uh, I'm gonna go in with these scissors. I'm pretty sure it's all dry now, and I'm gonna try to just clip away all these all this crap kind of hanging from it. Again, if, like, if anyone has some tips on how to avoid that, I just it's really difficult for me to just, I wanna just squirt it and then not be attached to it anymore. And every time I try to mess with the hot glue, it just keeps this little string on the tip and then I pull it in the direction I want it to go. I try to take it off and I, you know, this stuff happens and uh, I'm still happy with the mouth so I want to be really careful not to rip it off, you know? But what I'm thinking is gonna happen is these spots where it's pretty thick, I think it's gonna be glued to the mask and I'm gonna try to get it off but I might take a little paint off and if that's the case, I can touch that up, it's okay. But what I really don't want to do is pull it and mess up the stuff on the inside of the mouth that I actually do like. Ooh, yeah, really took the paint off there. Knowing that, I might leave this bit. Of course, I'm gonna have to touch it up either way. So I don't know, I may as well take it off maybe. But let's start just trying to cut myself free here. So what I could do is add it, because you see here it's like pooling up, it goes down to there and it pulls right there. And then I have this nasty glop right here. So I could try to just add more here, uh, like it pulled up and dripped down and maybe I'll get like a coming out of the mouth drip that I won't, that I won't hate as much as having to repaint it. So there's a little trick I kind of learned the last time I messed this thing up, which was, you know, this glue, now it's, it's cooled off so it's like solid again. You can put some more hot glue on top of it and it's obviously gonna melt that other glue and, and kind of combine and so like this weird end here that I don't like, we'll get a close up of. 
I'm gonna try to fix that by doing that, just adding a teeny bit of hot glue on it so that it just kind of reliquifies and, and droops down rather than sticking out like a, you know, a hard piece of not saliva. I'm gonna try to, again, this is risky, you know, like you kind of like it a certain way so you can mess it up by continuing. I think I might add just a little drop right here and try to get it to fall into this one so that I don't have this random piece right there. The other option, of course, is just taking that off because I'm gonna have to repaint these anyways. This is all dried up, um, got rid of all the hangy pieces and all that. Um, and you know, like again, like I'm, I'm really happy with the way the inside of the mouth looks. That's pretty much exactly what I wanted. Um, but I never intended to have any glue like on this side of the gums at all, let alone this huge amount like dripping out, like drooling. Um, again, I, I should have just, once I cleaned it all up, I should have just ripped that tiny piece of glue off and touched up the paint, which I'm gonna have to redo anyways right here. And I would have probably been a lot happier with it. Um, but again, it's my second time trying this technique. Um, you gotta try out new things and make mistakes and that's how you learn. Um, so yeah, hopefully um, he doesn't look too bad with all this crazy drool coming out. Again, wasn't my intention, but I don't hate it. Um, happy enough to uh, put him on the shelf. And um, yeah, hopefully y'all like it. But that's gonna do it for this week's Mask Monday. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next week where hopefully I won't mess up a mask.